Well, I'm out in Smithville. Today is a Smithville annual garage sale. There's quite a bit uh, going on. It's getting to be late. I went and had lunch and everybody's getting ready to quit. Close them up. I'm only after tools, so if I drive by buy one and there's kids clothes and whatnot, I, I don't stop on that one. Right down there, that's the Hope Float, Smith Birdie House. So, there are the last few blocks for me to come down. I got bought a bunch of old American-made power tools. I got a bench grinder for $30. Y'all know that's a good deal. An old American-made one. Everything works. I'll plug it in for you. That's a pretty good imitation. He sounded a little bit like that. Good old boy. And uh, a Porter uh, American uh, uh, vibration sander. That's a good deal. Some plants. Starts that people have dug, dug out of their back garden for a buck. Oh, any place. To, if it's still living after all of the drought and after all of the winter, I, I want that plant. <laughs> I got a couple of the things people dug up out of their backyard. So I do the stuff nobody else knows and wants. <laughs> Rotate. Well, it's winding down. You, I don't. I haven't ran into a, a garage sale with a sign in a little bit. They usually have stop, signs that say stop here, and then I know I could stop and get myself a garage sale. Pretty little town. Oh, my gosh. I've, I went downtown to eat, and it was packed. Annual garage sale, April. Probably the first weekend in April. I don't know. First time I've done it. Oh, I also bought myself an old washing stand. Got to be a hundred years old. For I'm building a outdoor kitchen, and I decided I, you know, I could use that old wash to, wash stand for uh, my coolers. I will put my coolers on it. It's a little rickety, but I think saveable. We'll find out. It was all of fifteen dollars, so it's not like I had a heavy duty investment. Well, I'll tell you. You know what I should do is come back at 6 p.m. and pick up everybody's stuff that they're going to leave at the side of the road. <laughs> Don't know. Anyway, I I've been I went out and bought some things this uh, last few days. I'll put them all together and do a little weekend presentation. Y'all can take a look at my treasures and see. Oh, here we go. Here's one. See right there. It says stop here, and I'm going to stop walk up and see if they got tools anyway I'm out after tools and weird stuff architectural stuff so I'm on the architectural side of town driving into town I saw your regular consumer kind of goods and baby clothes and stuff but over here I've got a few old tools and a couple of old plants nothing no architectural nobody's Figured some of these Victorian homes would have some things sitting out. Nope, nothing like that. All right, pretty big. It, not half bad, well run in my opinion. They all got the same sign that says stop here in the front yard. It's pretty easy once your eyeballs focus on it. I'm getting closer. One more hour and it's supposed to be done. And I've had a good time. I've visited with a lot of folks, did a lot, a lot more talking than I did buy and I'll tell you that much. Looky here, now ain't that decked out for Easter. They know how to do Easter, come on now. I was a little kid, I'd wanna show up right there. Well, I'm gonna, I'll do a little wrap up video here when I get home of everything I bought here recently and some of it here and some of it in Georgetown and put it all together in one video got a surprise I'm going to get Sunday and it's an 1880s carriage I didn't need it but I bought it I'll do a whole episode on that a bunch of them actually I, I'm really enjoying it oh I gotta stop here hold on all right well it's closing time so listen I'm that gentleman at that last garage sale he built a four-story cabin in the Sierra Nevada uh, mountains by hand and he used uh, old cedars from the train uh, from Donner Pass probably the Donner Pass I didn't drill into that one we didn't have time and he has a pile of cedar left over and uh, I told him he's 84 
I said, you sell me that pile of cedar and I'll turn it into a thousand year house. So then I got to show him the thousand year house and we got to talking. And his wife uh, does Italian marble, uh, which is uh, paint, Italian marble paint finish, which is the finish I have chosen. So what a real fun thing that was, right? So, wow. Well, this it's listen i maybe maybe being a not just stopping in and seeing what you could buy but stopping in and getting a visit with people is is the best thing to do anyway if he calls me back he's got my number if he calls me back i go to get myself some some i don't know 200 year old cedar 200 year old and this will be original old growth cedar right from the train uh shacks that were uh uh, used in the, through the Donner Pass. Come on now, that's that's a cool story. So yeah, he liked my story, I liked his. So we'll see. But that beauty of a small town and grad sailing. So well, I'm wrapping up the Smithfield Community Grad Sale over here at some secondhand thrift store. Walking through. I think the best find of the day was the gentleman who has the old cedar already that he saw it up himself and brought all the way from Sierra Nevada to Central Texas. I'm looking forward to, I said, he said, I have to take an inventory and let me know what he has. I said, I will buy them, not even looking at them. I know I'll buy them. But uh, I'm all alone in this, this particular store and wandering around looking at tre old treasures. I don't think I need anything here. So I bought here before though. Anyway, if I haven't told you, like, subscribe, follow me along, like, subscribe, follow me along. My deal is I'm building a thousand year house and I'm starting with stuff that's already stood the test of time by looking for old timey stuff, right? Steel and good high quality cedar and stuff like that. Uh, old, old time steel tools that aren't, uh, you know, months metal. So anyway, like, subscribe, follow me along. Thanks. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I went garage sailing, but I went garage sailing with a purpose, and the purpose was to find old blacksmithy stuff for my Thousand Year Home. I'm trying to make things that'll last a long time. So I'm buying things that have already withstood the test of time. Let me rotate. All right, so the first little quirky thing I'll cover will be all buggy-related parts. These are all hand-forged and maybe early machine forge but uh, this is what turns the buggy yoke if you will and there's an axle now listen this delicate little thing probably weighs a hundred pounds it is steel and oak and laminate with uh welded parts so uh, <clears throat> i got a brand new one as after all of these so i've told you uh, several times i was looking for doorknobs uh, and door handles that will last forever. These are old buggy parts, but as you could see, for example, that is a shower stall, right? A hand forged piece of steel. That's a thousand year part. I had some uh, <clears throat> other uh, horse related equipment that I got, some, some yokes. Usually people put the mirror between there, but I might use those for uh, pocket door glides, uh, barn door glides, I'm not sure. It all came in this barrel, so the barrel was part of the deal. I spent about $225, that's what I've got here. So, um, and there's all buggy parts too, yokes, and uh, those are probably the bars that go between the horses, but I would turn them into various, uh, because I have to hang some chandeliers. There's some more stay bars. These are sizable components, uh, again, all for my, uh, all for my thousand year home <clears throat> i'm a sucker for home built stuff the guy that built that i loved it and i have little wrens popping around here it's probably too late to put that out but i might see if they'll make a home got a birdhouse book i don't have time to read this italian plaster book was given to me when i mentioned or before i even mentioned i was going to do italian plaster inside of my connex and then lastly farm tractors well that book needed a home for for sure all right, so let me change then to modern electrical things. Oh, uh, some more blacksmithy. So uh, there's a blacksmithy hook. <clears throat> I'm gonna wanna use that. And uh, that's probably out of a stove, but I might use it as a drain up on the roof. And the various collars that I might use. Uh, these are for when the buggy wheels turn sharply and they bang the side of the buggy, there's little buggy stops. 
I don't know how to use those, but certainly I had a little crate full of uh, <clears throat> various awesome metal components, and every one of them lends themselves to be in a, a handle of some sort or another. Oh, I came with a block and tackle, probably still functional, but uh, I'm going to do some suspended chandeliers with that. Cut, you know, back to the whole horse theme. I one stirrup. <laughs> I don't know. One stirrup. Uh, the gentleman who sold me the buggy handmade made that boot scrape. And in Texas, you need a boot scrape. So I'm going to get that set up tonight. So uh, anyway, that's buggy stuff. Let me change to tools. So I paid $2. Old, old American stuff is what I like to buy, right? So I, I bought an old American nut driver set. All there. 7 16th, half inch, uh, down to 3 16th like that nothing special but i only paid two bucks for it anytime i see two bucks all right these tools <clears throat> a little old lady insisted i buy all her broken tools because she loved her husband and these tools are not like the modern cheapy tools these will last uh, forever so based on her recommendation i bought broken tools everybody i'll fix them she was cute as a bug but looky there this is a solid steel made Porter Cable, American-made vibration sander. And the gentleman that I bought it from, I paid $30. I figure it can't go wrong. He said he just got it going again. Uh, he had a lot of tools. Uh, new brushes, new vibration, everything in there is all new gut, guts. So can't go wrong there for $30. The same gentleman sold me this. I've got one bench grinder, but I've needed a smaller bench grinder that's just a little quieter, a little faster. So I've got a, he, I bought that. This is a train lantern. And the beauty of a train lantern, of course, is with a Connex, train lanterns stick. They're magnetic. Okay, let me turn it on. Woo woo. So it says, official train man lantern manufactured by Railtech. So there's your light. So, you know, blinky, blinky, blinky. Just magnetic. And this handle rotates on it. And that turns it into a lantern. So it takes weird C batteries, which I don't have any here right now, but I'll get some. All right, here is here is the component that was the most exciting to me. Early 1900s working toaster. Isn't that the sweetest thing? General Electric. Everything's still with it. It still works. I am going to make so much toast out of this. And I figure if that's already lasted 100 years, it'll last a little while longer. What else? Does that get me through everything? Oh, ski poles. <laughs> How did they make it to Texas? I have no idea, nor do I know what I'm going to do with them. So at a glance, I don't know. Not your usual garage sale haul, right? <laughs> Buggy stuff, ski poles, tools, blacksmithy tools, blacksmithy gear, American made heavy duty electrical equipment, uh, tools, bench grinder, uh, early 1900s, I don't know the thing, toaster, and I'm going to use that bad boy too, let me tell you. And I've got a little bird nest, I'm going to put that up right now. And then various accoutrements. That I'm going to use somewhere when I need something strange inside of this house. All right, and that wraps up my uh, Smithville, Texas community garage sale finds, plus a little bit. Some of this came from Georgetown, but two days of garage sailing, and uh, you know the components alone. I, I, you couldn't go to the store and get any of those for what I paid. I probably paid an average. I'd say I've got 50 items there. You know, I paid uh, what four bucks an item. <laughs> average I, I you know and it'll last a thousand years and that's what i'm after if i could find old blacksmith handles that would fit in a modern doorknob I'd, I'd buy those in a heartbeat i i'm gonna i might machine them myself we'll see all right i want to thank you uh without you i'd have nobody out here to talk to and i probably start talking to old hank as if he's a living breathing intelligent well, he is as if he's my peer that's what i should say as if the old hanks is my peer and uh, start talking to my tractor, things like that. Anyway, like, subscribe to keep me sane and happy way off the grid here. Thank you much. Bye.